Hey everyone, welcome to another Mastering the Draw video. Um, in this video, we are gonna go over the Utah Draw System. We have a couple other videos out there that kind of explain uh, what's available for non-residents, and then kind of an overview, a quick rundown. If you don't have much time, you can just look at that and kind of get an idea. But this one, we're gonna dive in a little deeper on the draw system and kind of give you an idea of like the limited entry hunts and how that point system works. Um, then we have general season deer and how that point system works. Um, and then how, how that split is for your draw allocation between residents and non-residents, how that split takes place. And then just kind of give you an idea uh, in the back end, kind of your draw odds, not or how we calculate draw odds and how you figure that based on if it's a general or a limited entry hunt. So we'll dive into it. So limited entry hunts, um, basically you have a 50-50 split um, is the way to conduct that draw. And what you have is 50% of the applicants on this side with the high point level, they will they call them max, we'll call it the max point applicant. That's where that goes. 50% of them automatically comes out of that entire quota and it goes right into that fit in that max point applicant category. The other 50% of the tags they're dumped into the random draw category. And when they're dumped in the random draw category, um, your points then convert from preference as they, they were a preference point for the max point applicants. They act as a preference point. Once you hit the random draw, they convert and now they're a bonus point. So basically they'll give you extra chances in that random draw. Um, the one caveat that they have is if there's an odd number of permits, they made this change a few years back, but and when I say change, so it used to be that if there was an odd number of permits, the the bigger or the what do I say the, the the bulk of the permits would go to the random draw. Then they made the change and they said, okay, based on interpretation of the new person that came over and took over that draw, um, they now put the bulk of those permits into the max point category. So I just gave you a little example there, seven permits, four of those are gonna be issued in the max point applicant pool, and the other three are gonna be put in the random draw. So that's, that's kinda of how that split takes place. Doesn't make a huge difference when there's a lot of tags, but boy, when there's five tags or three tags, it's a big, it's a big difference. So now we'll get in the general season, and it is a different point system. So all of general season deer, antlerless elk, deer, antelope, all of those will use a preference point. And there, it's not a bonus point system at all. So the permits are awarded to the highest, to the applicant with the highest number of points. So it's a straight up preference draw for any of those applications. So just remember that when you're looking through, like if you're looking through some of our stats in our February issue, it's a hard and fast rule. There's not a random draw. The only random draw you'll have is at that point category where that max point applicant or applicants are at. Nice thing about these general season permits or any of the antlerless um, permits that they have available, 20% of those will come right off the top and they reserve those for youth. Now, in in for Utah residents, it's not as big a deal because you know everyone's putting their kids in in Utah so there's quite a few youth applications and it doesn't you don't see that big of a drop in the amount of points required to draw a youth tag as you do for non-residents but non-residents quite frankly there's a pretty big drop so you'll see some of these hunts will be four or five points for non-residents for that tag um, for any of the adults well you could put your kid in and because 20 percent comes right off the top of that before they start any drawn any adult applications you might draw those youth at one point or zero points so just remember that going into it if you're applying your youth for any type of hunts in utah and they consider youth um, what does it say their hunters that will be 17 or younger by july 31st of that year and they will qualify as a youth in that application period um so the allocation and this is where it gets into the quota non-resident and resident so it's a 90%, 10% resident, non-resident quota. Um, this is across the board. Now they have a little variation in that. Um, and the one variation you'll have, you'll see, 
is like some units or some areas where they have very limited amount of tags like sheep, moose, goat, even some of these highly sought after elk tags. That 90-10 isn't always there. Typically, they will over allocate in some situation or in most situations. So like you'll have say 15 tags for this moose hunt um, for residents. Then you jump over into the non-resident side and they might have two. You know, so that's over 10%. But they try and hold 90-10 split, but just know that there is a little bit of leeway that the division is allowed there just to try and, you know, get more non-resident permits out there. So now we're moving into draw odds. And what I'm gonna try to explain to you is just mainly how it shows up, like when we put it in our state section, our magazine, or on our website. Um, and the reason it makes a difference is just because how it's described on there. So for that max point draw, you'll see in one column, we might have a, we might have a, a, a graph there that's not a graph. That column right there will say 24, let's say 24% with 21 points. And what that means is 24% of the applicants in that max point draw drew out at that point level. That was the cutoff. So nobody under 21 points drew any of those max point tags. So once you jump over to the other side and you say, okay, the rest of the tags that were available for that hunt, they went in the, they went in the uh, random draw. Now, if you enter in your points, and this specifically like on our draws page on our website, if you enter in your points, that'll give you an accurate calculation of what, what level or what percentage a chance you had drawing with those extra bonus points you had. Because remember, as we said earlier, those points you've accumulated, if you're not high enough to get into the max point draw, they automatically convert to bonus points and are equal, basically equal extra chances in that random draw. So just remember that when you're looking at it, you can enter in your points on, on the website you can see exactly what your odds were. One, one tip I like to tell guys is when you're doing that, put in your, the number of points you would have had the year prior because that's what it's drawing that off of. If you put in, you know, you had 17 points right now, well, last year when those odds were taken, that was based off a of 16 point, you know, you would have had 16 points at that time. So just remember, when you go to check your actual odds from the random draw, Put in last year's points and that'll give you a more accurate representation of what your chances would have been for that hunt the prior year. Um, and then general season deer, elk, well, excuse me, general season buck deer, antlerless, antlerless deer, elk, and antelope, as we touched on earlier, that's all preference points. So when you look at our draw odds page or look in our magazine, it's only going to give you one line and a cutoff. It's not going to give you a random draw. It's basically going to say, this, you know, 24% at five points for this hunt over for general deer. Below that, nobody drew. You know, nobody drew below that. The only, the only caveat to that is, you know, you might have some youth guys slip in there that aren't necessarily counted in the bulk of the draw there, and they might have drawn out at a lower point total. But as a general rule, like I say, it's just, it's hard and fast right there. If it took this many points to draw, anyone below that point level that applied for that hunt did not draw. So that's the difference between the limited and the general, and that's because it's, like I say, bonus points versus true preference points. Hopefully you stuck with me through that and everything in there made sense. If it didn't, you can always give me a call if you're a member. We can chat a little bit more about it. Um, Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next